Hey there, fellow game dev enthusiasts. It's time to add some firepower to our trusty jet in Wing Slayer. Today, we're going to implement machine guns and guided missiles thanks to the Vigilante Content Pack. Let's dive in. The Vigilante Content Pack in the Unreal Engine Marketplace comes loaded with various military vehicles and missiles. And guess what? It even includes ready animations and effects. That's a time saver. I started with the machine guns. In our jet blueprint, I'd already set up an input event for machine guns. Now, it's time to bring those missiles to life. Now, let's bring the guided missile from the Vigilante content pack to life. First, I opened the blueprint and added a projectile movement component. This component is crucial for controlling the missile's flight behavior. In the details panel of this component, I enabled this homing projectile checkbox, which activates the homing functionality. I also set the homing acceleration magnitude to 50, determining how quickly the missile changes direction to follow its target. Additionally, I set the max speed to 50 to manage the missile's top speed. The missile needed to rotate in flight, so I used the set actor rotation node in combination with the find look at rotation node. This makes the missile face its current velocity vector, creating the impression of a realistic flight path. To set up the homing target, I added a custom variable called homing target of the type actor with the deadable and expose on spawn checkboxes. Enabled this variable allows me to set the target for the homing missile when spawning it from the jet blueprint. In the missile's event graph, I added a custom events node named initialize homing. This event sets up the logic for assigning the homing target. I used an as valid node to check if the homing target variable has a valid target. If it does, I connected the valid output to asset homing target component node using a get root component node connected to the homing target variable for the homing target component input. Then, it was time for the missile's launch sequence. I needed to simulate the missile thrusting on, going straight down, and then moving towards its target. So, I used a sequence node in the event graph. I connected the on begin play event to the sequence node. Then, I connected the first output of the sequence node to her triggerable delay, node with a delay of one second. Next, I connected their triggerable delay node to asset velocity in local space node. I set the velocity to a vector with a value in the z-axis, like zero. One, this makes the missile move straight down for a brief period. Finally, I connected the second output of the sequence node to another re-triggerable delay node with a delay of one second, followed by a call to the initialize homing custom event. This ensures that the missile starts moving towards its target after the initial downward movement. And voila, we've successfully added a homing guided missile to our jet in Unreal Engine 5 using the Vigilante content pack. With our guided missile blueprint ready, it's time to integrate it into our fighter jet. This involves creating a missile firing event, spawning the missile from a specific socket on our jet, cycling through potential targets, and adding those vital audio visual effects to make it all pop. We need an action that will trigger the missile fire. To do this, we open the project settings, go to the input section, add a new action mapping called Fire Missile, and assign the right mouse button to it. Now, we must add this input event to our jet blueprint. The missile must spawn at a precise location and an orientation. For this, we use the spawn actor from class node in our jet blueprint and select the guided missile blueprint as the class. The transform input of this node is key as it determines the spawning point and orientation of our missile. For both location and rotation, we use the Get Socket Transform node with the socket name Missile Sockets. This socket is a predefined point on the jet's skeletal mesh, marking the exact spot where the missile will spawn. The transform includes both the location and rotation, ensuring the missile spawns facing the same direction as the jet. Now, we need a mechanism to manage and cycle through our targets. We create an array of actors variable named potential targets to hold all possible targets for our missile. We also create a current target variable of type actor in our jet blueprint. To switch between these targets, we add an input event for the tab key. Within this event, we use A for each loop node connected to the potential targets array. The array element of this for each loop node represents each target in the array. We add a branch node to check if the array element is the same as the current target. If it's true, we set the current target to the next element in the array using agate node with an incremented index. If we've reached the end of the array, we loop back to the first element. 
In the Spawn Actor from Class Node, we connect the Get Socket Transform node to the Spawn Transform input and our current target variable to the homing target input. This ensures that each spawn missile knows its target and starts moving towards it. Finally, we add the necessary audio visual effects. We implement the firing sound using the play sound at location node and a visual effect with a spawn emitter at location node. And voila! Our jet now fires homing guided missiles towards its current target. By pressing tab, you can cycle through targets. And with a right mouse click, you can launch a missile. Each missile launch is boosted by immersive sound and visual effects, delivering a truly dynamic gaming experience. Our jet now has machine guns and homing guided missiles. Isn't that cool? This new feature adds an extra layer of excitement to the gameplay and brings us one step closer to completing Wing Slayer. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions or suggestions, or if there's something specific you'd like to see in the next video, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more game development tips and tricks. See you next time, fellow game dev enthusiasts.